The evolution of Macrowin. First of all, before we go into specifics, we have to understand what this means. Macrowin is a term that's thrown around a lot, but I guess some people don't actually know what it is. For instance, if most people were to farm, say for instance sugarcane, they would come to the sugarcane farm and simply just hold down D on the keypad, maybe W as well, depending on if you want to go a bit faster, and just hold left click to actually chop the sugarcane. However, for people who don't want to be active while doing this, meaning that they can basically unlimitedly farm even though they're not online, they set up keybinds to basically do this for them, so they don't actually have to be at the computer. Now, as long as Skyblock has been around, Macrowin has always been a thing. Of course, it's not allowed, you shouldn't do it, and in theory, you should get banned for doing so. However, the amount of times where I've come to the hub and I've seen someone hitting the ground with a hoe in farming armour, because, well, I guess the island has rebooted, is actually quite funny. Now, of course, as Skyblock has developed and basically aged, new updates and metas have swung around, basically meaning that different things are better to macro or for the people that macro to macro. And these things usually align with basically just profitable things that people find boring. Now, the earliest form of macroing that I remember people doing was actually at the gold mines. And people always seemed to do it in this spot right here. They would basically just walk around in a circle for hours up on end with like a promising pickaxe mining cobblestone. Yes, back in the day, out of all the big brain plays, people macroed cobblestone. I'm not advocating macroing at all, and if anything, I'm completely against it. Don't macro, I mean, you should get banned, it's not allowed. But if you're gonna do it, then why would you have macroed cobblestone? Anyway, that's besides the point. Now, back in the day, I, um, well, when I say back in the day, I mean, this is a good two and a half years ago, maybe even three. I needed a cobblestone collection. I can't remember what for, but I needed cobblestone, or I wanted cobblestone for whatever reason. So basically, where this AFK pool is here on my island... I built like a, an unlimited cobblestone farm and essentially you would just walk up and down and it would just be a massive cobblestone generator that generated three or four maybe even five layers of cobblestone you'd look straight up in the sky and just mine it and that's the way i did it now when the community shop was introduced there was also obviously quite a few items that came with it this item right here the block zapper for a cost of 5000 bits right click a block to zap all connected blocks to the same type so basically, people would buy this for 5,000 bits or a few million coins off the auction house and sit there and literally just macro mining cobblestone. They didn't even have to move. Of course, with a block zapper, say if I was to mine this block of cobblestone here, it would mine the rest of it that's connected. And considering that there was probably like five blocks high and nine blocks long of just cobblestone, people literally just sat there macroing a cobblestone generator. And honestly, that wasn't even too long ago. I think that may have been like a year and a half to two years ago. At that point, things like the Hyperion were already in the game, and to think that you would get a Hyperion from doing that is a little bit crazy. Um, I think there was some sort of mechanic change within the box app, whether, the, whether there's a cooldown or, or, or something along those lines that now basically makes it not feasible at all to do that, which is good. Now, before we go any further, you should subscribe to the channel, become part of the 23%, there's no reason not to. Also, you should join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of every single video. I just want to say, in regards to people macroing cobblestone back in the day, of course it's bad because it's not an intended feature and it is bannable, but it wasn't so bad to a point where it really had massive implications on the economy. At the end of the day, it was just cobblestone. Now, in July of last year, I uploaded a shot where basically I just found somebody macroing goblins. I thought it was pretty funny considering... It was midway through 2022 and someone was still macroing goblins. And if you don't know what I mean by macroing goblins, basically if you just go to the dwarven mines and just the side of the ice walkers, there's basically the place where all the goblins are. The goblin burrows, I could have just looked. Now the reason why people macro goblins is because when you kill them, you have a chance of them dropping coins up to 10k, which actually when you actually grind them, not really bad it's not really a bad chance to get you can make a good few million coins an hour now basically if these goblins go in the fire then they obviously start to take damage so the idea is that basically you sit right here and um, you have pieces of armor and also pets that basically deal passive damage when mobs get close to you things like the snowman pet and so on now the thing that always makes me laugh about this is you don't actually need to macro anything you can literally just sit there you don't need to macro. I made a video a long time ago about this, maybe two years ago now, where basically I just showcased the best setup to do this. You just sit here. But for some reason, people macro. I don't know why. 
but you don't actually need to macro. You can literally just sit AFK. Besides the point, it's, it's kind of pointless to do this at this point. I mean, making two or three mil an hour isn't great. Like, even for instance, if you if you if you did this for 12 hours straight, at most you're gonna make 30 mil. I guess for some people that's a lot, but this day and age it's kind of pointless and it always used to just make me laugh when people macroed it because you don't need to macro it. However, I guess that just speaks for the intelligence of some Skybot players. And I guess that brings us on to sort of modern day macroing. And in terms of relatively recent times, a lot of people, I guess, macro gemstones because of how insanely profitable it is. Once again, you could just mine them like any other normal person. Anyway, now just to understand how many people actually macro or maybe used to macro gemstones before an even better macroing method came out. You just have to take a look at Ben Clark's videos from a few months back. Yeah, you know, do you remember Minute Macro? I kind of miss it. And also, when you used to do the Minute Macro streams, yeah, um, it was literally just like a constant supply chain of macros. And honestly, those videos were pretty eye-opening because I didn't realise the problem was that big. At the time, anyway. Now, the thing is with people macroing gemstones, there's quite a lot of risk. You're on a public island... And it's pretty obvious if you're macroing because you're not going to respond regardless of if you're mining or not. Of course, if you weren't macroing and you were mining like manually, then you would of course see messages in the chat and then you would probably respond so people didn't think you were macroing. However, a new disease has taken over. Of course, the main difference between farming and mining is the fact that you can basically complete everything that you need to do in terms of farming on your private garden, which means you can disable visits so people can't even visit you to see what you're doing on your garden. Even if you were incredibly careful macroing mining on a public island, there's still a pretty big chance that you were going to get caught. And of course, now we have things like macro checks, but you know, th does it really stop people? People go through millions and millions of collection without even getting macro checked. Even if they are farming legitimately, it probably should still flag up. And if you get macro checks and you are farming legitimately, then there's no issue. Honestly, it probably speaks a lot about your dedication to actually playing the game, which is fair enough. However, these are my main concerns. Back in the day, like I said before, people macroed cobblestone. And to be honest, it didn't have a massive impact on the economy. This crazy trend of macro and farming has completely killed the economy. Also, the macro checks are a little bit inconsistent. Some people report being teleported into like a bedrock chamber, other people report being obstructed, so they stop farming, and basically people can then check if you're still technically trying to farm. Other people have reported other things as well. It's just a little bit inconsistent. And not only that, the punishments for macroing are also inconsistent. Some people get wiped, some people get banned, some people get permanently banned, some people get banned for a certain amount of time, some people even get muted. Why would you get muted? I've, I've heard people getting muted for macroing. I mean, that must be a mistake. Regardless of what it is that people are macroing, it's not okay, and people just shouldn't do it. That's the bottom That's the bottom line, realistically. But it's kind of funny how initially you started out on something a little bit innocent as mining cobblestone. Not innocent, because you're still macroing, and it's still not allowed, and it's still not right, but it's not having a massive impact on everyone else. And now, to an extent, it's ruining the game for a lot of people, considering items that people want to buy just can't afford to buy because of this massive issue. But anyway, I think that just about wraps up today's video. That was the evolution of macroing. Of course, there's going to be different things that people macro in between that I've missed, but that's just how it is. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.